An event is something that might or might not occur. For example, the Steelers might or might not win the next Super Bowl. You might or might not pass your next statistics exam. It might or might not snow tomorrow. A marginal probability is the probability of an event occurring. For example, suppose we have 10 police officers, seven of whom are male, three of whom are female. The marginal probability of selecting a male at random is 7 out of 10, or 70%. A complement probability is the probability of an event not occurring. For example, if the event is that we randomly select a male officer, the probability of the event occurring is 70%, and the complement of the probability of the event occurring is 1 minus 70% or 30%. Now suppose that six of these 10 officers are promoted. We can define another event, which is that we randomly select an officer who has been promoted. The probability of randomly selecting selecting an officer who has been promoted is 6 out of 10, or 60%. We now have two events we can talk about, the probability of randomly selecting a male and the probability of randomly selecting an officer who has been promoted. A disjoint probability is the probability of at least one of these events occurring. Seven of the officers are male, six of the officers have been promoted, and of the ten officers, nine of them are either male or have been promoted. The probability of being male or promoted is a disjoint probability. And notice that disjoint probabilities are reflexive. The probability of being male or promoted is the same thing as the probability of being promoted or male. A joint probability is the probability of all the events occurring. Out of our 10 officers, 7 are male, 6 have been promoted, but only 4 of the officers are both male and promoted. The probability of being male and promoted is a joint probability, 4 out of 10 or 40%. Like the disjoint probability, joint probabilities are also reflexive. The probability of being male and promoted is the same as the probability of being promoted and male. Now consider this joint probability. Probability. Of our 10 officers, 6 have been promoted, but only 2 of those are female. So the probability of being female and promoted is 2 out of 10, or 20%. Notice the difference in these two joint probabilities. The probability of randomly selecting an officer who's both male and promoted is 40%, but the probability of randomly selecting an officer who is female and promoted is only 20%. Now we might look at these two numbers and conclude from this that there's some gender discrimination going on here because the males are being promoted at twice the rate of the females. But notice something. A joint probability does not tell us the likelihood of females being promoted. It tells us the likelihood of a given officer being both female and promoted. To understand the difference between the probability of a male being promoted and a female being promoted, we need a new probability measure. We call this a conditional probability. A conditional probability is the probability of an event of occurring given that some other event has occurred. In our example, what matters is not the probability of being female and promoted, but rather the probability of being promoted given that you are female. The probability of being promoted given that you're female is the probability of being promoted and female divided by the probability of being female. In our example, two of the officers were both female and promoted. The probability of being promoted and female is 20%. And of the 10 officers, three were female, so the probability of being female female is 30%. Dividing one by the other gives us the probability of an officer being promoted given that the officer is a female, 67%. Now we can perform the same calculation for the males. The probability of being promoted given that the officer is male is the probability of being promoted and male divided by the probability of being male. Of our 10 officers, 4 are both promoted and male, so the probability of being promoted and male is 40%. Of the 10 officers, 7 are male, so the probability of being male is 70%. 0.4 divided by 0.7 is 0.57, or the probability of an officer being promoted given that the officer is a male is 57%. So how is it that the probability of being promoted and female is relatively low, while the probability of being promoted given that you're female is relatively high? And the answer is that the joint probability, the probability of being promoted and female, is influenced by two things. One is the number of females who are promoted. The other is the number of females that exist in the data set at all. In this example, the joint probability of being promoted and female is relatively 
low, not because females are being promoted at a lesser rate than males, but rather because there are fewer females on the police force to begin with. Unlike the disjoint and joint probabilities, conditional probabilities are not reflexive. The probability of being promoted, given that you are female, is not the same as the probability of being female, given that you are promoted. In thinking about conditional probabilities, it helps to think about cause and effect. The cause is the conditional part of the probability. For example, when we talk about the probability of being promoted given that you're female, we are asking what is the effect of gender on promotion. But when we talk about the probability of being female given that you're promoted, we're asking what is the effect of promotion on gender.